Hello, hello, and welcome back for more Battle from Deep in the Trenches of Nigeria as Perfidious Pete plays XCOM The Long War. And before you ask, no, we're not actually trying to defeat the aliens by digging ditches in a jungle. I may be a poor commander, but, you know, give me a little credit, come on. Although, speaking of ditches, oddly enough, we do have a large number of troopers who have confined themselves to the infirmary and cited a case of trench foot as the reason for the visit, which strikes me as odd considering we haven't dug a single trench in our efforts to defend humanity. I'm not a scientist and I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure that some of these guys are lying. Now, I can't really blame them for such a little white lie because they might be a little gun shy at the moment. It's understandable. We have been chewing through troopers like Billy Corgan's pet rat, Mr. Chompers, through the side of his cage. Now, I can't say for certain whether or not Billy Corgan currently has or ever has in the past had a pet rat named Mr. Chompers, but you have to admit, it would explain an awful lot about his songwriting if he did. But I digress. Mr. Chompers is just my way of trying to deflect the real issue with a little bit of humor here. The real issue, of course, being that I'm sending people to the hospital faster than a batch of E. coli infected spinach. Really, what we need to do is step up our game, especially since lately all we've been getting is medium UFO missions, and if that trend continues, we're going to find ourselves in an unrecoverable injury-slash-fatigue spiral, and it's going to turn out a lot like when Maverick and Goose flew through Iceman's jet wash. It's going to be just a flat spin from which there is no way to escape until Goose's brains are splattered all over the inside of the canopy. And I, for one, would prefer to avoid that fate, if only for the reason that I don't want to have to talk to Mad Grian. So let's get to scanning here and see if maybe we can come up with something a little better. I really don't want to talk to Meg Ryan. I really don't. Her face looks like the blade of a hatchet now, and it's, frankly, it's scary. It scares me. A request from Japan for weapon fragments for one engineer. This is tempting. Engineers are kind of a delimiter for us currently. The only thing is, beam weapons are going to finish for us in the very near future, and I don't want to find myself pockets turned inside out like Uncle Pennybags on a community chess card when it comes time to build those beam weapons, because we are going to need weapon fragments for it. Then again, an extra engineer does help us build them faster and unlock foundry projects that make them better. I'm going for it. I say yeah, we're going to dispatch it. No more weapon fragments, though. Next person that asks for weapon fragments, I'm going to tell you no. So just, you know, be forewarned. I'm not doing it. So we do have a small UFO, but the problem is it's over Africa. I was hoping we'd get some intercepts over the UK where we have some active interceptors. So, of course, the aliens can't fucking leave Nigeria alone. This is why I built my base here. They got a ravenous heart on for the African continent. There's no explaining it. But we only have one pilot who is a zero-kill rookie... I don't like his chances. We gotta send him, though. I mean, we gotta send him. We have no choice. We gotta do something about this. We can't just let it go unchecked. And even if he can't get the kill, which I'm, I'm pretty sure he's not, but even if he doesn't get the kill, we can at least hope he does enough damage that it breaks off whatever this mission is. So, while we may not be able to get the kill, we may be able to at least to scrub the alien mission. That's a new mechanic to build 15. Okay, so we got the sparklies. Never mind. Simtex is a fucking ace pilot. Is it fucking me? Am I just insane? Or is the air game in build 15 way easier than it was in build 13? I am I seem to be having a, it's either an unbelievably extraordinary run of luck or they actually brought down some of the difficulty on the air game because at, at in April of build 13, if you had sent one interceptor at a small UFO, you would only have gotten that shot down if you had gotten exceedingly lucky. And we've gotten back-to-back -back three intercept kills on medium UFOs, which would have been completely unheard of in, in, in Build 13. Just, you would not have had, that would not have occurred. It's like winning the lottery twice. Just doesn't happen. Except to, you know, all the people that it happened to. But either they've made the air game easier in this version, or I've just got fucking some kind of crazy-ass luck of the Irish thing going for me. I don't know what it is. I mean, like, I've got a leprechaun who's hiding in my fucking butt cheek. That's right. I have leprechauns hiding in my ass. That's the only logical explanation. Clearly, it couldn't just be that I got better than average rolls from R and Jesus. No, no. The only true explanation is that there are tiny mythological creatures of the Fae hiding inside my ass. 
I have no idea what I'm saying most of the time, folks. None, none whatsoever. Let's try and put together a team here before I dig this hole any deeper. Do we have a gunner? We have Horatio Nelson. So we could do sniper, gunner, assault, assault. In you know what? No, I want some rookies on this shit. We got to get some more rookies into the action. So we're going to go with a more conventional build. I do still like sniper, gunner. Do we go sniper, gunner, medic, and then all rookies? That seems kind of shitty. We have no scouts. How many scouts do we have on a team, actually? We have four scouts. Where the hell are all of them? Well, two of them are in the hospital, and two of them are tired. All right, well, two, two hours, Hedberg. You lazy punk. We could just go grind this for two hours. That, that craft's going to be on the ground for three. You know what? It's going to be a trial by fire for the rookies. So I'm going to take Peter the General Van Dorn. Fucking General of my dong. That's what you're general of. Give you command of my left fucking testicle. And honestly, that's more responsibility than you warrant, Van Dorn. I'm, I really probably shouldn't even trust you with my testicle. I'd like it back someday. I may want to use it. Unlikely as that may be. I would mind, you know, just keeping it. Attack armor, sniper rifle, scope, laser sight. Got Van Dorn sorted. We do need some cash as well. Hopefully we can get some solid salvage out of this. Let's take a gunner. We're going to take our last gunner into the battle here. We're going to take old Horatio Nelson. Horatio's got himself a pretty reasonable foot speed. I have been going with the LMG builds lately, though. And I think I'm going to stick with that. I think in the early game, the LMG... I think it has the advantage over the saw. I think in a late game, the saw definitely finds its own and becomes much more viable. In the early game, though, the squad sight ability, which allows you to stay out of range of the aliens, seems like it's probably the way to go. It definitely helps the survivability of our gunners. Now, the question is, do we take an assault trooper? And if so, which one? I'm leaning towards Joan of Arc. She was fantastic on our last mission. But Eleanor Roosevelt would probably level. Yeah, Eleanor Roosevelt is pretty much guaranteed a level. Let's take, let's take the ruse here. A battle scanner and a med kit. Odd choices for the ruse. Let's change that. I don't necessarily care for those. You can keep the battle scanner. That's fine. But we're going to get rid of that med kit, Eleanor. We're going to bring an actual medic, I think. I don't I don't trust this team, especially if we're going to go with some rookies. I really don't trust them. So let's go battle scanner, flashbang. Our fourth guy will grab a medic, and I think that's going to be Joseph Lister. Yeah. So the father of antiseptic surgery, the guy who invented the whole deal, is on task for us. I think, do we give him, let's give him a scope instead of that laser sight. Lister has a pretty good base aim. Scope and two med kits, that's going to make him okay with an assault carbine. He's not going to do fantastic damage, but uh, he should be able to do some. And he does have field medic. Also, I believe Lister's got to be close to a level as well. Not really, actually. Lister might even need a kill here to still level. That's troublesome. We can deal with it. We got to get some medics leveled up. I want everybody to have uh, field surgeon because that ability is fantastic. Hi, Dar. I can't help but feel like we've had you on missions before, possibly twice. No, one mission. You went on one mission and didn't level. You have really good stats, sir. I'm going to trust you to go again. I think we'll get rid of this and give you a carbine, though. I really want to have you hitting what you shoot at. The battle scanner, probably still the right move for you. Let's let you hang on to that. You go ahead and hang on to that battle scanner. And let's find one more rookie. If we have another rookie who's been on a mission and is thus guaranteed a level, we will take him. I don't think we do, though. No, we absolutely do not. None of these names look in any way at all familiar. I'm just looking for somebody who looks like they might be a quality addition to the team in the near future. Ferreira here. Ferreira. Ferreira? That's a hard one. You know what? Sandro, apart from having a very low defense, which doesn't help the survivability much as a rookie. Other than that, ah, their health is shit, too. They're going to get shot and die because they won't have the defense or the health to keep themselves alive. We may have to do it anyway. Oakstra, at least, yeah, that guy's really slow. What about Baker? Terrible. Leah White? Questionable. Sandberg? Uh, it's it's kind of the same boat. Ramoj? No. Yuzuki Yameda? I like the health total and the speed is okay. Christopher Davies. This guy actually is not shameful. Let's go with Davies. PFC Davies looking reasonably solid. He's at least adequate across the board. We're going to give him a carbine as well. That AP grenade's going to go. I don't think we have any grenades. 
Let's give him a flashbang. You know what? Actually, yeah, let's give him a flashbang. We'll keep our try and keep our medic safe. That'll be our focus. And you know what? We're gonna go now. Let's get a laser sight instead. This guy's his gun is all he's got. We're gonna have to try and make sure he can hit something with it. Now this is a small UFO, of course, so our resistance should be at least somewhat limited. Hopefully. I mean, every mission we've gone on lately, we've had sectoids just fucking drilling us with long-range shots. And I know I know that they removed the gunslinger penalty from sectoids, but still, their aim seems ridiculously good. Even without that penalty, we've been getting hit by sectoids from shots that really South should not Africa be hitting. This one, and we need to get down there fast. Great. It looks like Operation Crimson Hero. Why does that sound fucking tragic? That Let's sounds like the title of an epic clear. poem about a guy who goes out and gets himself killed. Doing something noble but stupid. Ah, uh, Bradford? I really often wonder if Bradford doesn't name these missions ironically. I think he's fucking trolling us. Operation Frozen Tears, Operation Crimson Hero, Operation Bloody Future. What the hell are you trying to say, Bradford? I mean, if you want to fucking be a jerk about it, just come out and say it. You don't have to try and play all coy. Just admit to the fact that you think we're doomed to failure. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Well, let's not go crazy here, Bradford. Um, this is an unusual place to come in on this map from, and I'm okay with it. We know where the alien vessel is going to be. It's going to be over in this neighborhood. So let's head that way and see if maybe we can get the duel with the outsider over before any of his rowdy friends show up for Monday Night Football. We can just go ahead and get that out. I mean, all his rowdy friends will show up, and eh, things get out of hand. We don't really necessarily want that to happen. Why don't you steady your piece of shit weapon, Van Dorn, you hunk of crap? Now, on the plus side, I'm giving Van Dorn a lot of grief, and I'm going to continue to do so unapologetically. I'm just going to throw that out there. But, he does have Disabled Weapon now, which is an intriguing choice, I have to admit. The Ruse, Eleanor the Ruse Roosevelt here. We want to get her as close as possible. I know most people pronounce it Roosevelt, which is sort of the common pronunciation. Little known fact, uh, FDR himself actually also pronounced it Roosevelt, strangely enough. Roger, we'll Let's get Admiral call. Nelson forward. We're going to put him in position of cover. We know this is a safe location, so the hurried advance, aye not aye, really commander. much of a risk. Ricky Haidar as the red shirt is going to take the riskiest maneuver of the turn. Looks like it came out okay for him. Nothing, huh? I hear drones. That sounded like it was coming from behind us, which is fine. I really want to try and get to the crashed UFO. If we can pop the outsider... And sort of get to work on him before any of his troublesome buddies on it. come poking around. we got to treat this like a frat party, effectively. Oh, we want to get in, get drunk, get home before the cops show up. We just uh, we want to make Affirmative. make our plans, make hay while the sun shines, and then get the hell out of Dodge before the cops show up and everybody gets a minor in-possession citation. We could even, if we, you know what? I think, okay, not this turn. I'm thinking about throwing a battle scanner in there, and I like that plan. I do like it. I'm excited. I'm happy to be a part of it. But I think what we do first is we wait one more turn, consolidate our position, make sure everyone's as ready as possible to go and engage the enemy. Then we throw the battle scanner inside the ship and see if we can get a long-range sniper shot with I'm going to miss it anyway Van Dorn just to activate the pod. And Van Dorn's going to miss. I mean, we, we should all be consigned to that fact. So there are drones oh, inside the sound. ship. That's unexpected. I mean, it's not necessarily a huge problem, it's just uh, not what I was expecting. Tell me that's going to go inside the craft, Hydar. If that doesn't make it inside and all we can see is the door, I'm going to be real salty. Okay, good. And for a ship that has drones inside it, I don't think we can actually see any of the drones. Alright, mister, I'm going to miss this shit, Van Dorn. Actually, he has a 100% chance, so this is one not even Van Dorn can fuck up. And he delivered a pretty thunderous fucking critical for us. All right, Van Dorn. I was going to be angry for a moment, but suddenly I find myself considerably less angry. Ratio Nelson has hollow targeting, so we're going to have him take this shot, even though it's bad. And I probably should not have doubted Horatio Nelson, the little admiral that could. You can take his eye, you can take his arm, but you can't fucking stop him. That's the one thing that will not happen. So our plan worked perfectly there. That was good strategy, solidly executed. We did exactly what we wanted to do. Not that I'm feeling smug or anything, except I gotta say, I'm, I'm feeling a little smug. A little smug that that went so well. We did have drone noise from over here, though. Where the hell are they? They could be on top of the craft. 
Uh, do we want to use our last battle scanner to scan the top of a UFO for drones? I think the answer to that question is a solid no. We could do it, but it just seems like a terrible fucking idea. I'm Pick rolling. Joseph Lister around in a little bit of a flank maneuver. Clear to engage. Oh, shit. This is not good at all. Alright, so we can have Lister fall back, and Come we're probably line. absolutely going to have Lister fall back. He's in a terrible, terrible spot. Admiral Nelson has one shot that's not fantastic. We're still going to take it. It's his only game. Alright, Little Nelson couldn't quite get that one delivered. That's okay. Can't win them all. Van Dorn should have a shot at that same guy. He does not. He does have a 62% chance at that cat, and we're going to take it. Alright, Van Dorn, show me why I brought you. That was dubious. That was a dubious performance, but I'll allow it, because I'm sort of not got any other options. So way. we're going to move Lister to full cover. This is really the best we can do. And for some fucking titanically bizarre reason, he cannot be seen by the enemy from that position. I find that remarkably difficult to believe, now. but at this point I'll take it. Got it covered. Eleanor, the Ruse Roosevelt, is now in a shitty spot. And there really isn't anywhere less shitty to put her. We're going to bring her over here. Let's try and make these guys come to us. And if we have to on our next turn, we'll throw the battle scanner, reveal the thin men, and start cracking at them with some squad sight. They should move forward, however. All right, so one of them is going to come forward to spot. That's this guy. He's on Overwatch. So a lot of Overwatch. We're probably not going to be moving. We got an Overwatch shot here from Davies. That didn't even come fucking close to the mark, I'd like to point out. Rookie. Yeah, that uh, wasn't exactly well done. If you get shot, I'm going to be so pissed at you. Okay, then. If you had gotten hit, I was going to be real upset with you, but the acid isn't something you can do anything about, so I'll give you a little bit of bygone on that. All right, Admiral, what do you got? 38%, 53%, None of these is particularly good. But if we could get this hit, it would be a kill. Worst case scenario, it's... Uh, Alright, hold on a second. Let's see what Van Dorn's got. 47, that's shit. 62 is not bad. Also 62 back there, but that's less likely to get to kill. And we've got the better shot. Okay, yep. So the right shot then for Horatio Nelson is actually to shoot at that guy. If this gets lucky and we get the hit, it should be a kill. Or it could not kill him and then that could leave... Van Dorn, a slightly improved shot. So Van Dorn will have the hollow targeting bonus. That's going to bump him up to 72%. we got to make do with that. All right, Van Dorn's at least going to get the kill for us. Come on! I won't go down without a fight! Uh, Van Dorn, your battle chats are the stupidest shit of all time. And that's that's me saying this, Van Dorn. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty starch indictment. 52% at the injured guy for Joseph Lister. It's the right move to take it. Well, it looks less like the right move now that it missed, but it was still the right thing to do. This guy's got to hunker down. He has no choice. He does not have a med kit. Now, here's an interesting proposition. We could have Eleanor the Ruse Roosevelt head forward and take a shot at these guys, but she would have to take all of the Overwatch in the universe to do so, and I'm not really that comfortable with that. So we're going to put these two on Overwatch instead. Try and make the Thin Men come to us. I have a feeling Joseph Lister is probably going to find himself back in the surgery he loves so much because he's going to get shot. So far, so good. Lister is in full cover. He's got that going for him. And this guy should be getting flanked if he tries to come around. All right, so he's going to... All right, these guys are doing some tricky-dicky bullshit here. This is some Richard Nixon. You've got to be shitting me with that. Come on. Ah, this is why I'm salty, folks. This is why we can't have nice things. Every time we try and fight these missions, we wind up getting fucking just screwed unrelentingly by some of these really, really low percentage shots that the enemies are hitting. That shot is terrible. Let's see what Van Dorn can do. What's Van Dorn's best shot here? 47%. I would prefer to not take another high percentage shot at a guy, or at least a low percentage shot at the guy that's wounded and not fucking dead. Davies, what can you do? 10%? 10, yeah, you're going to hunker down, Davies. This guy's a little more exposed than not on Overwatch anymore. So we kill that guy with Eleanor Roosevelt, then. 
That's the right move. What can this guy... That You're the only guy he can see. We have guys on Overwatch. I don't think we're going to get hits here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to suppress this guy. This will give him an aim penalty and apply hollow targeting. It also busses Overwatch. That should allow Hydar to move forward, I think. You know what? Let's take the ruse in first. Van Dorn, what have you got? 47, 47. That's... Probably about the best Van Dorn's going to do. Let's go ahead and take this. This is a bad shot. Probably one we shouldn't take, but... Yep, there you go. The we, we, all, we all noticed Van Dorn. Also, yeah, we all know you're low on ammo. It's because you're a terrible shot. If you hit more often, wouldn't necessarily be out of ammo. This, this is going to get us... We're going to take Overwatch here, but we've got to do it. I can't believe that didn't draw Overwatch, actually. All right, well, this is a kill for the ruse. This is going to get it. He going to get it! All right, so Eleanor the Ruse Roosevelt gave that guy the old what for. That leaves Lister with a terrible shot, which I'm going to take anyway. Not a surprising miss. So that leaves us Hydar, who we're going to... We're going to try and make an attractive nuisance out of by moving him forward. He has a slightly better percent chance to hit. We'll take it. He gets lucky, and that just leaves Davies, who's going to hunker down. We're going to try and draw this thin man out of his craft. He may get a flank shot off on the rook here, but if old red shirt's got to pay the price, well, them's the brakes, kid. Not even shooting at him. Bit of a lucky miss there. I'm not, uh, not ashamed to admit it. That was a little lucky. All right, so we've got to come up with an alternative plan then. But that's okay, because I have an alternative plan. For the ruse, yeah, that's a terrible shot, which we assumed that it would be. Admiral Nelson, you can't even see that guy. That's okay, though, because Van Dorn can. Ugh. We could take the disabling shot, but why bother? It's not going to hit. Let's just, if we're going to gamble, let's gamble on some actual damage. Oh, there we go. Good enough. I'm all out. Are you still inassinated, Davies? Looks like Davies is in the clear. Roger. We're going to bring Davies forward. This is just in an effort to get the rookie the kill. 67% at this angle with this shot. I'm not sure. And you did one fucking damage, kid? I gotta say, I'm not hopeful about your future with the XCOM project, son. I think uh, you maybe ought to consider a career change, my friend. I, I really sincerely believe that with all of my heart. I'm not sure you're cut out for this line of work, chum. Mostly because if you continue performing in this kind of fashion, you're going to be chum. Just saying. Nobody wants to be fish bait. Nobody. Joseph Lister's going to move and heal himself. I don't want Joseph Lister dead. He, granted, only took one damage, so that should be a fairly insignificant wound as it stands currently. But still, I'm a little salty that he got hit at all. We're going to move Admiral Nelson. We're going to have him hunker down. Hydar, you've done... Well, I was going to say fuck all, but that would be discourteous. Even though the fact that it is true that you've done fuck all for us. Well, you know, that's not true. He did do one thing. Hydar did throw a battle scanner that proved to be somewhat useful. So we got to give him credit for that. Our assault on the outsider came off without a hitch. And it was largely largely his work with the battle scanner. i got to give him credit for that. So I can't take it all away from him, even though I want to, because you're a shitty rookie. Davey's going to fall back towards the group and reload. we got drones over here somewhere. It's just a matter of finding them. Admiral Nelson is hearing things. Which, considering the number of cannons that man has been around while being fired in his life, I'm surprised he can hear anything at all. Heading to that location. Seems like for him to have hearing problems would be not much of a stretch. We are going to put out a battle scanner just to see if we can catch these drones. My guess is they're probably over more by the back of this restaurant. Or they could be right there. Also a possibility. We're only going to have Nelson. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think Nelson is even in range. But Van Dorn should not have a shot because he's bad at his job, I guess. What, what's the story here, Van Dorn? How do you not have a shot at those guys? All right, then. That's the way you want to do it. We're going to try and move you to somewhere where you will have a shot, which is there. We'll have you study your weapon. Let's get the ruse in a more forward position. Heading to that location. These guys don't know that we know that they're there right now. I mean, they're not sure that we know that they know. So we got to try and take advantage while the taking is good. 
Get Joseph listed four, put him on Overwatch. Now we have spawned the command pod, so these guys should be popped. And if any of them move at all, Horatio Nelson at the minimum is going to take a shot at him. We'll get Hydar up here for a little extra fire support. Our goal here is just going to be to try and bring him down with volume of fire, except they're running the shit away, so that may not work. Nelson? Still nothing. All right. Van Dorn? You can pop him, can't you? Van Dorn has a can't miss shot. I, yeah, you know what? I'm taking the can't miss. I Sorry, Van Dorn. You can't be trusted. I wish you were more reliable and that I could count on you when the chips were down, but that's simply not the case, Van Dorn. You, you can't be trusted, and I'm not going to trust you. Still no shots for Nelson. It's overwatch for him. I would like to get the rest of our troopers forward where we could also maybe get some overwatch shots without being in absolutely inconceivable amounts of danger. Inconceivable! That was not who I thought it was. I was hoping that was Eleanor Roosevelt, but it actually was not. It was our rookie who I wanted over here. That's okay, though. Roosevelt's still in position, or at least a position, where she might theoretically contribute. I'm on it. Lister, we're going to move you very slightly. You've already known the sting of getting Maybe shot once. Let's not double up on that shit. Got dropped behind a fence. Decided to come around the corner. He might be able to see a unit from that location. I'm guessing he can, given the way these guys are moving. It looks like they're trying to horn in on Horatio Nelson. Which is funny, horning in on Horatio Nelson, because, you know, horn blowing and whatnot. Horns were kind of Nelson's thing. What are you up to? Very clever. All right, so that guy's out of line of sight. Davies can see two. Nelson? Nelson actually has a shot. It's just a bad one. I'm still going to take it, if just for the hollow target. Yep. Yeah. So no hit, which is not surprising, but that should give Van Dorn a better chance. 77, Van Dorn's going to deliver. And all credit to that kill goes to the straight-up awesome ranging of Horatio Nelson. 80%? Davies? What the hell crawled up your ass, son? You did one fucking damage, mostly because that was a carbine shot and you're a piece of garbage, but still. Actually, I'm more flabbergasted by the fact that it did one the fucking damage. Confirmed. Lister, what can you do? Well, you get a bad shot, but I'm going to take it. 57%. It's probably not going to get to kill even if it hits, but we won't have to worry about that because why would Joseph Lister do something good? Idar, you're on Overwatch. Eleanor? Uh, she could go do a little shotgun surgery for us, but I think I like our current position better. We're just going to have her overwatch. Come on, Hydar. Don't let me down here. I'm going to start using reverse psychology on our troopers. Um, you know, just maybe just root for them to fail so they try and prove me wrong. All of you are terrible. None of you could hit an overwatch shot if uh, it was your own balls and you dropped your dick at it. Was that a repair? Two drones repairing each other. All right, we can deal with that. So the only people on this team I can trust at all are Admiral Horatio Nelson and uh, his little friend Van Dorn, who have between the two of them killed damn near everything on the map, a trend which looks to continue completely unabated. Yep, so there you go. I've been giving Van Dorn a lot of shit, and I think the reason he's performing is because I've been giving him shit. So Operation Crimson Hero did in fact result in yet another wounded trooper. Joseph Lister going back to the antiseptic surgery techniques that he loves so much. Maybe we should just promote him to, like, chief surgeon and leave him in the infirmary all the time, never actually deploy him. A six-day wound is not... Un yeah, it's, that's acceptable. It's a wound, but it barely counts. Eleanor Roosevelt, absolutely going to take close combat specialist, no doubt about it. Old Big Joe. Big Joe's going to get a field surgeon. Hydar. Interesting. This guy has a good base aim, and I want another gunner. I'll take it. Gunner is fine for you, Hydar. It is acceptable. And Christopher Davies is a support trooper. He has a mediocre aim, but he does have a reasonable foot speed, and for a starting out guy, he actually has an okay willpower. I think we leave him support, and we go full-on medic with Davies. I think that's the right choice. We also need another medic, since... Jesus and Joseph Lister can't keep themselves out of the hospital. Another medic is definitely not going to be... Uh, it's not going to be something we can just immediately say no to. So, Christopher Davies, we'll get him an actual name next time. Of course, he will head into the Project Lazarus Chamber, let Dr. Valen tinker with his DNA. I'm, he's going to come out some kind of chimeric abomination, but that's pretty much par for the course. Once again, we got fucked on Meld. 
I'm curious on something on the Build 15 mod. I know they changed it so that sparting spots can be sort of random. One thing I have to wonder, though, did they, as a result, also adjust the starting meld spots? Because we played that whole mission, and given the spot that we started, I don't even think we saw a meld container. I mean, we were able to kill pretty much all of the enemies. I don't even think we came across one. That's something I'd be curious to know whether they also adjusted the meld container spawns based on where you actually start into the map. Because that has the potential to make meld more difficult to get than in any of the previous builds. Anyway, let's uh, sell off these damaged goods. Get rid of those. That puts us at 120 credits, which we have some facilities finishing soon, right? This morning, Commander. And so we've got an access lift finishing very quickly. When that does, we're probably going to build an officer training school as well. We've got actually this coming up. We'll probably put a repair bay here and then maybe a workshop there. This will be for our OTS. So we'll just hang on to the credits for now. And with that taken care of, I'm going to wrap this one up like a Christmas present from Santa Claus. If you enjoyed the episode, of course, feel free to drop a like down in the comments section. I was going somewhere with that Santa Claus thing, but then I had a complete and total stroke and forgot absolutely what my train of thought was. That shit got derailed like Thomas the Trank Engine in the Ant-Man trailer. No idea where that was supposed to end up. Anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, drop a like down in the comments section. Your support really does mean a lot to me. And if you'd like to see more XCOM on a daily basis, of course, consider subscribing as well. New episodes posted every single day. For now, however, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again soon.